I'm sure you want to take a look at some of the basic controls on the keyboard before we get too deep into programming it. So on this keyboard right here, on the left hand side, we've got our octave down and up button. I can play a line and the octave down will automatically shift it down before it gets to the plugin. So that shifts the entire keyboard so any plugins that you might have will all get shifted together. We've got a standard pitch wheel and a mod wheel that of course depending on the plugin or patch can be mapped to a bunch of different things. Underneath it, right here, we've got our arpeggiator. I can tap the arpeggiator to enable it, hold down a chord, Every time I add a finger to it, it adds it into my arpeggiation. We'll get into how to configure the arpeggiator a little bit later on. The latch mode will make it so that if I hit and hold that chord, the arpeggiator will keep playing it even though I have let go of it with my hand. That allows me to experiment with the time division button up here. So the time division button will make these buttons not respond to MIDI control changes anymore, but they'll actually be divisions of tempo for the arpeggiator. So if I pick something and latch it, right now I'm in 16th notes. If I go to quarter notes, you can hear it slow down. Quarter note triplets, eighth notes. So I'll go back to 16ths. And that actually brings me up to our tempo button. The tap tempo will set the tempo of VIP so that what delay effects or arpeggiators, things like that, will all have a set tempo. So once again, I'll latch something. Then if I tap the tempo four times, now it goes much slower. If I tap it a little faster, Now I've got a faster tempo. So that will allow me to set. And you can configure, as I discovered and showed you before, you can configure the default number of taps that it takes to establish a tempo inside the global control menu. Finally, if you're a pad player and you're using these pads for drums, you can actually set them all to full level. So they are velocity sensitive. If I tap this pad, and the harder I hit, you can see I'm really slamming the keyboard, shaking, I'm hitting it so hard. You can hear the difference in volume. But if I tap full level, even if I touch this just a little bit, full level, full volume. If I touch this a little now, there it is. So you can have those pads all reacting to their full level if you want to be triggering some sort of drum sample or straight up sampler.